Hi, welcome to online tutorial on MATLAB and Simlink from JCBR. In this video, we will learn how to use Simlink and how to do programming on Simlink uh, and how to create models in Simlink. So, open MATLAB. In MATLAB, we can start Simlink by two ways. One way is to write Simlink in the command window of MATLAB and a new window will open up containing various blocks of symbolic. Another way is go to the home tab of the MATLAB and click on the button on symbolic library. This is the basic uh, uh, layout of the in which various building blocks of the uh, various functions are there. Uh, for creating a uh, doing a programming in uh, symbolic we need to create a model. For creating a new model, we will click on this button on new model and a new window will open up for creating uh, the model. Uh, we can save it by clicking on the save button and we can save at any location on the desktop. Let's say by the name of test save. In this video, we will create a sampling model of uh, generating sine wave. So in order to generate the sine wave we need a source we will click on source icon here and a new window uh, a list will be changed and several blocks will be uh, displayed here and we will select the sine wave from here and we will drag and drop on our model then for displaying the sine wave we need a sync in sync we will select a scope and we will paste it here so unlike uh, many uh, many of you may have done in ocad or pspice modeling like you just need to uh, connect different points or different terminals of the block similarly in simlink 2 we just need to connect the terminal blocks from source to the sync it's done so that means uh, our model is being done of generating sine wave Suppose now we obviously we need to change the settings of the sine waves like frequency and amplitude. We can do it here. Double click on the um, block of sine wave. Uh, this parameter window will open up in which we can select whether the sine wave which we require that needs to be time based or sample based. We are using time based and then frequency we are using 10 and then apply and then ok and let's see what the scope shows it is showing nothing right for time being ok we'll increasing it the term here 10 uh, displays like for how many seconds this simulation will run uh, and in order to run the simulation we just need to click this button and simulation starts running as soon as it's done our sine wave is generated so uh, by looking at it uh, it does not look very nice sine wave because the number of samples are randomly arranged so uh, let's do something about it okay but by the way it is a sine wave but uh, samples are not properly arranged we can also change the properties of this axis like uh, this is the y axis and we can change it right click on here on the properties and go to access properties here you can change like from minus 2 to 2 and the access limit will get changed we will go again to the sine wave in order to change the sample there is a term sample time which shows like how many samples we will choose over a period and then apply and then ok and let's run it again ok there is still change but uh, chains are not satisfactory ok let's run it again ok let's say we are taking 100 samples in one period ok apply and then ok that's it now it looks perfect the sine wave is there but obviously from the number of samples uh, we can increase the number of data points over which uh, the MATLAB is track, uh, connecting those points and the number of, more the number of points more smooth the sine wave will be 
So this is the simplest way of generating sine wave using Simlink. We can also use Simlink for uh, for connecting our hardware like Arduino or Raspberry Pi or various DSP kits directly to the MATLAB. So MATLAB provides easy interface building blocks for connecting them uh, through Simlink. So it is a very powerful tool for doing real-time signal processing uh, using MATLAB. So that that's it for this video. Thank you.